Welcome tea friends. This is another episode of Tea Log and today I'm going to talk about traveling with tea or taking your tea experience outside in general. Um, yeah, the first video I'm going to talk about the tea wear, the hard piece of your traveling tea equipment. And the second video I will cover other aspects like water, heating water and so on and while you're traveling or while you're outside. Yeah, I mean, I think all of us feel the urge to also take our tea experience outside, to drink tea in nature when you're hiking in a park, meet up with other people, uh, drink tea together, or uh, when you're visiting friends, uh, introduce them in to tea, or um, yeah, when you're on a business trip, sometimes you need this calm moment in the morning or at night maybe that uh, you enjoy just a tea alone. Um, and all of these um, things you always need some proper equipment because you know um, good tea should be prepared in a proper way um, it doesn't have to be very complicated though now I'm going to introduce three different travel sets which I'm using currently I have all of them with me on my eight month uh, journey and yeah let's start with the first one it's obviously a guy one Travel set, company Sanche from Taiwan. It's porcelain, actually bone china. And yeah, the core piece there is a really beautiful guy one. Or you got a lot of requests from Instagram actually. Um, yeah, this beautiful guy one, approximately 100 milliliters. And then there is obviously a pitcher, which is not dripping or anything and then there are like actually five to six cups in there in this set originally but I removed them and replaced them by three bigger cups which I find nicer and uh, more appealing to me because um, I, I seldom drink tea at uh, five or six people it's just too much I think two or three people is the best um, best group size if you really want to uh, introduce people to tea and so on you can also add other things to the set like a strainer um, like this or even a teaspoon and so on. I really like Gaiwans, especially for beginners but also for professional tea drinkers. Gaiwan is just the, 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 the brewing vessel to go, especially if you drink a lot of teas, so easy to clean. Um, you can basically drink all kinds of teas um, or prepare all kinds of teas in a Gaiwan. You just have to be careful, sometimes Japanese green teas are too small. But besides that, everything is, is perfect. Um, I think I'll, I'll make a different video about actually the Gaiwan and how to use the Gaiwan, the advantages of the Gaiwan. I'm, I'm planning this since some time already. Yeah, and this is actually the, the porcelain we also sourced for our tea company in the past. Um, I was sourcing this especially from Taiwan because um, it's really important to have high quality porcelain. Yeah, it's not even that expensive. Okay, let's go on to the next set. It's actually a very simple travel set. It's just uh, a bowl and a shibori dashi made by Czech Potter Peter Novak. It has a really beautiful blue glaze, chun glaze, and it's wood fired, so you have some wood firing ash deposit effects on it. It's perfect for one person. Um, especially if, let's say you're on a business trip or just for your morning tea or evening tea you just want to enjoy one tea a day uh, despite all the stress uh, at work you can use these uh, this, this kind of set yeah? um, I like to drink my white tea in the morning sometimes on it the shibori dashis are even more versatile than uh, gao ones they they are very good even for Japanese green teas they are special sets from Tokuname, actually um, artist Fugetsu makes really nice travel sets consisting of a pitcher, a yusamashi outside, a shibu and three fitting cups which uh, get smaller and smaller and fit inside of the shibu. So this is a really beautiful set. I'll try to put also the link in the description for that. And finally, for those of you who can't live without matcha or who replaced uh, your morning coffee with the matcha, 
Um, I actually assembled this travel set myself. So it consists of this chawan, which I made myself. It's a Temuku chawan, quite small but tall, so you can fit stuff inside. Um, then I have one uh, cleaning cloth and can of matcha, which fits inside. And then this travel chazan set, which is a beautiful um, small chazan, which fits inside of this bamboo um, packaging and there's also a small spoon inside. Works really well. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, the second part will be about uh, the water, heating the water, how to pack all this, how to bring your tea and so on. And the other aspects and tools you need for enjoying your tea outside. I'm always trying to keep everything minimalistic. You don't need to have a full backpack only for tea wear. Even though nowadays I'm carrying a full backpack only with the camera gear and stuff. But yeah, um, I think with tea, try to keep it minimalistic. For example, this one, I just keep it in my shelf like that always. Whenever I go hiking in the morning, I just grab it, pack some tea and I'm ready to go. Maybe a thermos or something like that. But yeah, I mean, always try to keep it minimalistic because you don't want to become all of this a drag. You know, it should be very simple, very easy. Outside the atmosphere is anywhere nicer. You know, there's so many aspects which will improve your experience with tea. Um, the, the birds singing outside, the, the water running and so on. So um, all of this will enhance this like uh, tea drinking outside anyway. So you don't need your, to bring your 10 different yixing pots for 10 different teas or something. You can have a great session and drinking five teas outside without bringing all this fancy tea wear. Yeah, um, if you liked the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. There will be more videos coming your way, especially some tea tastings, which I'm planning. Um, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.